delegates at the multinational talks on Syria taking place in Vienna say a broad timeline and plan for political transition towards elections in the war-torn country have been agreed. The process is aimed at ending violence and replacing it with a political process to establish credible, inclusive and non-sectarian government. Participants agreed that elections should be held within 18 months. We've reiterated that the future of Syria will be decided by Syrian people alone. That also applies to the destiny of Bashar al-Assad and any other politician in that country. And it's the future status of President Assad that could prove to be a stumbling block, along with the determination of which opposition groups are regarded as terrorists. But the situation is such that he has become the magnet for the foreign fighters. People are coming from all over the world, attracted to Daesh and Nusra and whatever, but mostly Daesh, because of the fight against Assad. And that fight will continue. And the best way to solve this problem is for Bashar al-Assad to recognize that he could save his country by helping to be part of this transition and allow all of the countries in the region to join together and go defeat Daesh. That's the game plan. The delegates pledged to take all possible steps to ensure that they and those who they support adhere to a ceasefire in Syria, where an estimated 250,000 people have died. Our correspondent says the tragedy in Paris has doubtless overshadowed the meeting in Vienna, but the participants emphasized that what happened in France only made it more pressing that they fight terrorism together and decisively. Andrea, Euronews. Bitch.